Welcome to Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. As the current time, of exactly twelve p.m. on the Eastern Time on May twentieth on Saturday. Hope you guys have a good weekend so far. And apologies for not posting as frequently、um, and consistently as I should be.、Um, you know, I've been just traveling a lot and、uh, just been doing catch up on emails, on work,、um, conferences, galas, and all that stuff that I've been going to a lot. So、um, it's been, you know, a little bit extended、uh, physically and mentally. So,、um, so apologies, you know, again for、um, not being as、uh, attentive as I should be. But with respect to the overall market,、um, something that we are, you know, still kind of gliding around, you know, in proximity, you know, compared to my last video and the videos before, is that we've been kind of trading around the same level. Uh, for quite a long time so far,、uh, and if you look into the date specifically,、uh, we've been kind of gliding around the same level since、um, I would say March, and obviously we had this slight surge,、uh, and the surge was really cultivated by a mixed bag of different macro catalysts, right? But the main prominent factor that drove the elevation was really due to the failure of the banking sector,、uh, with respect to you know SVB, Signature Bank,、uh, Credit Suisse, and Even、uh, First Republic Bank、uh, subsequently closed down,、uh, and you know cryptocurrencies, especially on the Bitcoin and Ethereum side of the equation, they are the I guess the representative of you know、uh, what a decentralized financial asset would be, right? So people would be more、uh, likely to flee to the opposition,、um, you know, of the f- financial sector, which is you know the banks of the world to. To be going into or investing into something that's a more of an anti-correlated、uh, hedge mechanism, which is what Ethereum and Bitcoin would be in representation of. So let's take a look at the, the technical、uh, without wasting more time.、Uh, with respect to again recording time of twelve o two p.m., I'll try to make this relatively quick and sweet、uh, for us.、Um, just. So、uh, we can、uh, regather our technical knowledge so far, and、uh, with respect to the daily front, you can see that we are quite bullish、uh, at the forty-five out of seventy, looking like we're about to form a golden cross, elevate as we form a golden cross. Obviously, it's going to elevate and ideally touch again at the eighteen fifty mark. We might even hover around the nineteen hundred mark,、um, but again, eighteen fifty is more of a substantive resistance level. Uh, or support level,、uh, depending on if we have the shot of actually reaching that level. But on the weekly, you could see that clearly we are showing some opposition right now, right? And this is basically an extended、uh, cross section that we've had seen, you know, basically since、uh, July of last year, which we have been, you know, trading around the same momentum for、uh, quite extended period of time,、uh, exactly ten months, exact, you know, to be specific. Uh, but you can see that we are in need of a cross section down or at the fifty four out of seventy. So,、uh, what we are saying,、uh, basically, the technical is showing that in the near term we might see some elevation, but the elevation is not going to be significant. But in the weeks out, again, right, we do need to kind of cross down before we cross up. So that means we do need to see some correction down the road. Uh, and if you look at this like even more of a high level perspective, you could see clearly this is a bearish pattern, right? A head, a shoulder, a shoulder.、Uh, so what this translates is that we need to come down to a lower level of seventeen fifty, even cracking down to the eighteen fifty mark.、Um, so、uh, something to really think about.、Uh, we do, you know, ideally need to cross down before it cross ups, and also like complete this、uh, bearish pattern. Uh, so seeing lower lower level at the eighteen fifty, fifteen fifty mark would not be a surprise to us. But as we get over the hump and get over the logical technical dynamics that we need to get over, you know we are relatively bullish on the monthly. We're at fifty out of seventy. We are about to cross up on the MACD front, so it is looking,、um, you know, quite、um, nice in terms of the reversal that should be expecting. Uh, coming up much later、uh, down the road, sometimes around September, October, would not be a surprise to us. On the Bitcoin side, I would say it's quite similar.、Um, you know, golden cross、uh, weekly. It is、uh, looking like we need to cross down as well、um, at the fifty-five out of seventy. So Bitcoin is a little bit more extended compared to Ethereum. The daily, it is looking like we need to cross up as well, but it's a little bit delayed. And if you look into it, this is a similar pattern as well, right?、Uh, 
golden, basically a head and shoulder, a head of 31,000, shoulder on number one, which is at the 27,500, uh, the secondary shoulder is at the 27,500 as well. So we do, we are obviously in the mid of forming a head and shoulder pattern, which is, you know, um, something that we are seeing across the whole crypto market. So again, some short term elevation would not be a surprise, but just know the fact that it's not going to be long lasting from there. And just to touch on the uh, the industry on the equity side of the equation, it is showing the some opposition effect. The the pattern looks quite opposite actually. We are forming um, a reverse head and shoulder. So this is a thirty four five three four five at the bottom, which is the reverse head. First shoulder is thirty six. Secondary shoulder is the three six five again. Um, and with respect to the daily, you can see that uh, we've crossed up, so which translates into the surge uh, ever since we reached to the level of 411 and we hit all the way to 412, 420 because of the golden cross, right? But with respect to the current level, is it sustainable to get a, to stay around this level? I would say no, uh, because of the fact that we are clearly getting rejection right now at the 62 out of 70. Weekly is also need, in need of a cross down before we go up, right? So, again, uh, short term we might see some elevation, but um, in in terms of like weeks out, we do need to see some correction for the market to replenish its momentum and then uh, allow for the monthly to take over. Uh, which on the monthly, you could see that the the technical spectrum is quite uh, bullish from here. So something to think about. So that's really it for this uh, Saturday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, it's raining in New York, so I'll probably just stay in for a little bit. Um, seems like it's like 75, 80% raining today. So um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Like the whole week has been nice, but like I've, I've been just like working, right? But like on this weekend, I want to really take some time off, but it's raining. So it's like always like maybe like the the universe is giving us a reason to uh, take some time off, like to really stay home instead of just like going out again. But anyways, have a good one. I appreciate you for checking in again and take care. Bye.